up guys, Arava here and welcome back to a brand new video and for the very first time we have some actual gameplay from F1 22 game engine footage. Obviously it's not going to be like the usual onboard gameplay, that I assume will come at some point but this is our first snippet because when the announcement happened we didn't really get much. We got a lot of information but in terms of actual tangible video content to watch from Cody's, from EA, we didn't get much. But now this is the trailer they've just dropped to reveal the Miami Grand Prix circuit in game. Right, we're going to watch it through. I can't really share the music because it may get copyrighted. But wow, Miami is looking tasty. And already, I don't know about any of you guys, already getting a very EA feel to the trailer. This is very much like how they would do a FIFA trailer. Very snappy cuts, snappy editing. Very over the top, you know, dramatic stuff basically. They've used real engine sounds as well, so I don't think this is in game engines. If you watch the, you know, the original trailer for yourself with the music and whatnot, you'll hear the engine sounds. I don't believe they're actual in game engine sounds. They sound very much like audio clips from real life, but that's the Miami exclusive uh, content you get for pre ordering. And obviously, all these cars are FOM. Uh, my team cars with the real liveries dressed over. In-game engine, it, you know, to say it's going to be basically the same engine as last year, kind of adapted further, um, I actually like what I'm looking at. It looks even further polished. And there is the supercar that we get to play with in one of the supercars from F1 Life. All right, we're going to go through this a little bit slower just to kind of get a good feel of what we're actually watching, basically. So as it says at the bottom there, game engine footage. Um, so this is actually what you can expect from the game. And Miami virtually looking pretty damn lovely. And I'm sure actually as we get on to yeah, this bit, this yacht, ironically, the yacht marina area in the game is going to have... <laughs> More realistic water than the actual one because in real life they didn't get the planning permission or whatever to or what, you know what they needed in time to get real water in here, so it's going to be fake. But in the game they've got the actual water in there, and then this is the kind of you know this is what I mean by this little intro bit here. If I just play it, like it just feels very. FIFA trailer-esque, you know, I can see this year, compared to last year, there was already a bit of influence, but this year for sure, there is so much EA-style influence on the marketing of this game, the way they're presenting it in the trailers, um, and they're running with the kind of number one theme and all this kind of graphics on the side here, but I've got to say, you know, this is obviously, you can tell it's, you know, the same Ego engine from last year's game, but I don't know, there's something about it, I don't know whether it's just, you know, extra polish they've done on the post editing side but it looks you know like they've even they've improved it even further you know they've somehow got even more from the same engine it, whether it you know be the lighting or the reflection of the cars i don't know what but it looks even better than what we got last year and then this if we take a look closer look at this actually this is basically if i go to the very end this is miami themed content pack so you get the my team livery you get the overalls helmet and then look at this this is the first look at you know what we get with f1 life a t-shirt and a cap so confirming that with f1 life we'll be able to change out the top the cap of the guard of our avatar base and this is away from the actual race suit and the helmet and, and the my team car but that's that is what we're seeing right there is that my team car uh, livery, the Miami based one in action. I think it looks like they've got some sort of kind of artist uh, to, to, to do it for them. So that's what you get if you if you pre-order it. But that's our kind of first look at the, the my team and the F1 life stuff. Those of you who watched my virtual reality video in a set of course will know this part of the circuit. I believe this is the left into the right and then you go into the marina like the yacht places will basically be over here so this is in sector one basically off the first couple of turns obviously we're driving the Aston Martin there then it cuts through a lot of these shots not wanting to give away too much obviously in what is meant to just be a kind of a reveal teaser trailer so far from the game I think very much like we saw with the virtual to real life comparison of the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix last year this circuit virtually may look a bit better and more jam-packed with everything they were hoping to do in real life. Like, like I said at the very start, this entire bit here with the actual water, real life, fake water, they've not finished it in time. I doubt this is going to look as good as it does right here in the game. So very much another case.
places like Saudi Arabia where uh, Cody's have actually done a better job than probably the real life uh, Grand Prix will look like maybe when we see it in a couple of days time. This is very interesting. We just go close enough. That is a McLaren supercar of sorts, but that is obviously one of the supercars, one of them that are available to drive in Pirelli style hot laps in the game as we learn from the further details looking into the Steam page of F122. I said that in a previous video that basically the way they're going to get the, the these supercars into the game is we'll be doing Pirelli hot laps, whether that's, you know, in F1 life somehow or career mode, we, we don't know quite yet, but they, they are going to be drivable and that's what, how they're going to fit in basically to that entire new part of the game. But all this does really for me right now, uh, coming off the back of this, just get me more hyped and, you know, anticipate when we're going to get to show you guys first gameplay of F1 22. So guys, if you haven't enjoyed this quick little look at this, you know, very snappy reveal trailer for Miami, then hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. What do you make of that Miami content pack and that first look, maybe F1 Life stuff confirmation. It really is going to be like literally designs on t-shirts and caps, maybe other stuff. You know, we saw accessories, so sunshades maybe and things like that. And then obviously the supercar right to the end is a little teaser and confirmation that that is going to be a proper big thing. You got to drive it like a pretty hot lap. And if you're new around here, then do get subscribed for more F1 22 news and gameplay as and when it comes, guys. I've been Arava. Hope you enjoyed your day. Goodbye.